bar graph. It is a pictorial representation of the numerical data by a number of bars, rectangles of uniform width erected horizontally or vertically with equal spacing between them. The bar graph shows Divya's performance in the quarterly, half yearly and annual examinations. It helps us to compare whole year's performance. From the above graph, we infer that Divya's total marks has been increasing which shows progress in her studies. Bar graph can also have double bars. This graph gives a comparative account of sales of various crackers over a two-day period. From the above graphs, first graph shows the comparison of three examination of a student. Second graph shows that four variety of crackers sales in two days. Pie graph or a circle graph. Pie graph is used to compare parts of a whole. The circle represents the whole is a pie graph. In the month of December 2008, Ramu spends his monthly salary amounting to rupees 7,200 on different items. Histogram. A histogram is a graphical representation of a frequency distribution in the form of rectangles with class intervals as bases and heights proportional to corresponding frequencies such that there is no gap between any two successive rectangles. The following table gives the marks scored by 100 students in an entrance examination. A line graph. A line graph displays data that changes continuously over periods of time. The above table shows the temperature of Chennai city taken every four hours for a day. We call this as time temperature graph. The horizontal line x-axis shows the timings at which the temperatures were recorded. The vertical line y-axis denotes the temperature. The temperature of every four hours is recorded and plotted as points as shown in the graph. These points are connected by line segments. The result is line graph. From the graph, in between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., we can find that the temperature was increased by 2 degrees Celsius. This is the location time graph for a cyclist. While plotting the graph, the short movements of time where the cyclist changed his speed when neglected. From the graph, we can determine the location of the cyclist at a given movement. The type of motion with which he was traveling along particular segments is speed, the distance he covered, and even his direction of movement. So from segment AB, we can discover that the cyclist covered the distance of 100 meters in 20 seconds, moving at a constant speed of 5 meter per second. Segment BC indicates that the cyclist stopped after having traveled a distance of 100 meters. From segment CD, we can see that the cyclist went on to move with a greater speed. In 20 seconds, he covered a distance of 200 meters, which means that he was traveling with a speed of 10 meter per second. Segment D shows the cyclist stopped for 20 seconds. Then from segment EF, we can discover that the cyclist turned back and after 20 seconds reached the location which he started his journey. He was moving with a constant speed of 15 meter per second. Coordinates. Locate the seat in your class. For this you need to know two numbers. That is the row number and the column number. For example, 3, 2, which is 3 units from the left edge and 2 units from bottom edge is plotted on a graph sheet. In a graph sheet, we draw X and Y axes conveniently and then fix the required point. 3 is called X coordinate of the point. 2 is the Y coordinate of the point. We say that the coordinates of the point are 3, 2. Always the first number indicates X coordinate and the second number indicates y coordinate.